This is uh, another part of Tara, the unloved Silverado truck. A uh, little of my undercoat showed through. I just wanted to show you that uh, I use that bed liner stuff, and I'm shooting a really, really hard to paint with color, and it's the reason why I'm making the video is because i got to exercise patience and just lay on real thin coats, almost like you used to paint with the old lacquers. As you can see, it's light in here. I don't, I don't know with this cheapo camera. Uh, this is the metallic gold. Uh, she's really going to be something special. We worked and got the uh, bed bolts out of her, so the bed's ready to come off, and we're going to rework all that and fix all the fuck-ups. Uh, this is the fender here. Collected a little surface dirt blowing around out here, but that's what happens when you paint outside. You get a little bit of that. But that's what it's turning out to look like. And if I have to scuff it down, if I don't like it, I can scuff it and shoot another coat. Uh, this paint, uh, this old Centauri, uh, they sell it in different forms now, and I'm not going to say why, but it's hard as hell to, fi uh, to, to find it, and it's hard as hell you got to be an old-timer to shoot this stuff. Fortunately for me, I was around when this stuff was coming out. So those are the fenders. Uh, the doors are all prepped. We've got to get a day. It's supposed to rain all week because I wanted to take the doors off, but I don't want to get the carpet all soaked and get the goddamn floor rotten out yet. Uh, it's got enough issues with the frame. Uh, we got to cut out a frame member, section it out. Uh, I don't know how much we're going to do on that. There's enough videos there to do it right. A couple guys did some real nice jobs with heavy wall tubing. So that's all covered. But how to paint these trucks and prep them and how to make it look real nice like that, that it almost uh, glows in the dark, regardless of what you might think. This is the end results of taking your time. We discarded, we got another panel over here. I actually paid for the fucking thing. I was disappointed. I'm going to dress that up for somebody, fix it, uh, weld some metal in there. Uh, I actually welded some metal in this one. I think this is the fender right here. You can see, it, it, it just it, they were small holes, but I went over them with glass to make them waterproof. And then I'm going to shoot uh, more goo in there. I have stuff that hardens, uh, seam sealer and that. And I don't really paint over it. It would make no sense to do it now because then it does not dry. Then you've got problems. You've got more issues than you, you want because it cracks the paint and then the paint will start peeling off. What happens is the chemicals that are in a seam sealer, if you'd shoot it in there on the seam and everything and you paint over it, it actually starts drying the paint beyond what the hardness it should be for the paint. So then that's why paint starts peeling. Uh, there is a reason why that stuff happens and we don't want anything peeling here we shot our uh, our bed liner like i said i don't use that rubberized undercoat because it absorbs moisture we coated the back sides of the rockers my cat's being a, an idiot knocking stuff over stop it that's the mommy cat she's a real pain in the ass yeah you like the you and bubba you like to, to, to make the videos exciting you don't do anything until i turn a camera on So that's what you do is you coat the backside, get some paint and stuff on here so it doesn't rot right away. As I said, I was not happy with these rockers from Raybuck panels, that they were a bare steel. So I etch primed them, then I shot them with epoxy prime. Uh, it, it's something I'm spending money on. This is how the normal panels that I'm used to, and this is what I like about Raybucks. Uh, this stuff is extra thick. I think in the first, first part of my video and the other one there, I... Uh, I showed you how thick the panels are. These things are you, you could you could drop them and throw them uh, 50 feet, and you, you you wouldn't you wouldn't put a scuff in them. When they sent them to me, Raybox fucked up. The uh, staples from the box put some dents in them, so I'm kind of disappointed. But that's shipping. It had nothing to do with them. That was all on, you know, how it was packaged or whatever. And you know, if they just had a store where you could pick this stuff up and stuff I, i'd love to open a store up here for them where you could stop in for body supplies and different things because i know a great deal and i always ask questions how other people do things there's no such thing when it comes to body work as a stupid question if you want to ping me on youtube and ask me a stupid question that you think's moronic my chances out of 10 i'm going to respond it's not because your mind thinks one way and other minds think the other way and not everybody's an expert or an authority as I said, maybe somebody else can tell me how to shoot these old Centauris. Uh, this this uh, wasn't... Uh, what happened was I'm shooting the fenders, getting some paint out of the can. 
and I figure I'm going to bump one of them or, or both of them getting them on the truck and then I'll probably have to shoot them anyway come time to painting. So it wasn't enough. I took the can down to Sherwin-Williams and put it on their, sh their shaker down there because I buy a lot of stuff from them. And uh, Sherwin's great. But there wasn't enough room in this can to get this mix shook around. So I took some out, and that's why I shot the fenders with basically, this is just a prime coat. It's not the finished coat. It'll get scuffed, and anything that shows through will get scuffed. But as you can see right there, there isn't too much. There's a little raised line here. But for a 15, 16-year-old truck, it's going to look like, you know, like it's brand new. And if something shows through the bodywork, uh, I never claim to be a total expert. If you're doing something in your backyard and making an improvement and, and, you know, what would you rather look at? That or would you rather look at it that it looks halfway presentable? You know, you have to make a decision in your mind. You're only going to polish a turd so high. But then again, you know, you can get going and do some really nice work on the truck. You know, just try to do your best. That's the way things turn out. See? Look at my movie stars. You, Mr. Bubba, off. We don't abuse our kitties. He's my best buddy. Sleeps right in, right next to me. Snores just like me. You and the bobcat. You and Axel. Axel's somewhere over there. He's looking to meet Mr. I mean eat Mr. Squirrel, I think. So that's the end of this one. Thank you.